Hi guys, welcome back. This is a dive site called Black Last Cove, or Black Rock as we call it. Let's get in the water. A little bit shallow. Let's see what happens. This is not the best. Hopefully, it'll get better. As you can see, it's very green. Lots of jellyfish about. Short crab. Missing a leg, I think. Oh, at least the vest is picking up a bit now. Soon find the edge of the bay. This rock face curves round out the bay. And along the front. It goes down to about 18 metres, I think, if I remember. And we'll check that out on the way back. But if you head straight out from the point, you pick up an edge. I think I'm still on the face. Going down out the bay. These sites if you don't dive them that often you get lost easily. That's a nice big langoustine. Dublin Bay Prawn Lagostino, Norway Lobster. It's quite shallow as well. Yeah, stood everything up. David. Yeah, that's right for the edge here. Okay, that's 24 metres. Yeah, I think there's like an edge here that goes down to about 30-something. It's difficult to see today because the visibility is quite poor. No, actually, getting deeper than I planned to go. I'll just stay there, step. It's about 24 metres. I seem to remember the big cable was down here as well. A horseman, an enemy. Looks pretty from this side. Okay, this, this may be the edge here. 
That was maybe just too far along. Lots of Devonshire cup coral. Just it's hard to point at it. That's interesting, there's that strange sponge. Chalice sponge. I'll just head back up. I've got this computer that self eliminating so therefore there's no point in trying to light it with your torch, which is what I was trying to do. Just working my way back up now. Just try and chill out for a bit. Lots of stuff scurrying about. Looks like somebody up there. Selty bottom, so it stirs up really easily. Let's see if we can find this Norway lobster. You can see it's quite soft sediment. Lots of burrows or old burrows. There's a scampi there. Somebody's had a go at his claw, he's got one missing. There's quite a few around about here. This isn't the main dive. The main dive was actually a wall that runs along the shore here. But I've got sidetracked looking at Norwegian lobsters. This guy again. Oh, he's come out. There he's back home. Okay, I'll leave him alone. Okay, back on the face. I'll just swim.
have a look here a bit. Give you an idea what it looks like. There's a few tuna kits, mostly. I actually forgot what they're called. Parallelogramma is a Latin name, I think. She hydroids about. There's some dead man's fingers here. Yeah, it's gas mantle of sea squirt. Interesting an enemy up there. Maybe just a small horseman an enemy. Hard to see. Nice white feather stuff. Okay, I'll turn back. So this face goes along about 18, 20 meters. Ah, it's not quite pretty. Cushion staff. My diving's a bit off just now. My point is not right. So I'm not as comfortable as I usually am. Fifteen meters at the moment and be done. Twenty seven minutes, that's fairly flown past. I think it must be coming back to the corner now. I was trying to set up my main torch, so I can use it one handed, which seems to work. Still got the problem with the video light when I have to use my other hand to switch it on. Squirts and new hydroid growth. Nice scallop. Just leave them be. Looks like somebody's lost a fishing rod. Don't need a new selfie pole. An animal crab. Just a, a young one. Coming back into the bay now. You see that it starts to curve round a bit. That's what I mean by the diving being off. Feels have a great light. Auto dump. 
I was diving in fresh water the last few days and I think I've mucked about my kit. It's just taking me a little bit of time to get sorted with it again. Bunch of gobies under there. Leopard spotted goby and a, a rock goby, I think. Yeah, the fish is dropping again. Back into the comb jellies. That's a nice one. You can see the... The cilia moving, causing the interference patterns. Sunshine. Stand up there.